So in this video, I'm going to show you guys how to get to and from the Narita Airport. With my local tips and advice, you can't go wrong. So, basically there are four ways to get to and from Narita Airport. There's the express train, which has two lines, the Narita Express and the Skyliner. There's a regular train. There's the bus, which actually has LCC and the limousine bus. And the fourth option is taxis. So out of the four options, we cross off regular train because it takes two hours to get there. Taxis really don't make sense if you have less than five people because it costs 20,000 yen, which is roughly $175. So that leaves us with two options, the express train and the bus. LCC, also known as low cost carrier, costs 1,000 yen, roughly $9. The limousine bus costs 3,000 yen, which is roughly $27. This is equivalent to the Skyliner and the Narita Express. So. LCC is the cheapest solution. So when I'm low in cash, I prefer taking this. So let's talk about the express train. So when you arrive at Narita, you had the two options of taking the Narita Express or the Skyliner. If your hotel is in the southwest of Yamanote, Narita Express is your best choice. If you're staying near Ueno or Nipori, then you should take the Skyliner. If you have a JR Pass, then you can use that with Narita Express, because that's included. So when you arrive, you pretty much have two options when buying a train ticket. You can either go through the automated ticketing system booth or you can get to the man booth. Usually the automated ticketing system is a lot faster because people don't really like to use machines. Personally, I like to go to the booths. I don't mind waiting a little extra longer to talk to someone just to make sure that I'm going to arrive at the destination I really want to go to. So when you arrive at Narita Airport, you're going to need to take the elevator down to B1. As soon as you go out of the elevator, you're going to have Narita Express on your right which is red and then Skyliner blue on your left. Just after the man booths you'll see the automated ticketing booths. As you can see there's a lot of people lining up for the man booth. Alright so now we have to get back to Narita Airport. If you're riding the Narita Express, just go to your closest JR station, find the man booth or the automated ticketing system. If you're comfortable with the ticketing system, go through that. If you're not so comfortable and you don't know where you're going, then go to the man booth and they'll point you in the right direction. Something to note, the Keisei line, you can only buy tickets at Nipori or Ueno, so be sure to go there when buying your tickets. I would say arrive there between 15 to 20 minutes before because there might be a long line at the ticket booth depending on where you arrive at the station it could be like a 10 to 15 minute walk to get to where you're trying to go to the platform so just keep that in mind there are stairs sometimes you have to go around the station to take an elevator pro tip number two if you're in a hurry then maybe going to the ticket booth is not the safest way um, and you should probably just take the machines at the station you don't have to go online it it only takes about you know five minutes to go through. The, all the menu systems are in English, so you can just like s quickly scan through there, and then you can just pop your credit card in through there, or you can use cash as well. So here's another tip for you. One of the best things to do is to sit at the front of the cart. So this is where people get stuck when they're trying to get off the train. There's not a lot of room for the baggage, and it gets really really clogged up. This is why you want to, if possible, sit at the front or the rear of the train. Quick little note, when you're buying your tickets, you're gonna get like four things. Basically, you're gonna get your tickets here, which you need to pass to the train attendant. And then two, you'll get a receipt. And four, you'll get, if you use a credit card, a credit card receipt. You don't show them these ones, you show them these ones. So, if you've decided to go the cheap route and take the LCC bus, there's a lot of choices. But the two major ones are the Keisei bus, also known as Tokyo Shuttle. And the second one is the Access Narita. Take either of these and you can't go wrong. So you may ask, where do I get on the bus? Let me tell you. For the Keisei bus, you can get on, on at Tokyo Station. For Access Narita, you can get on at Ginza Station or Tokyo Station. For specific directions, check the description below and we'll leave some links. And feel free to check out our website tokyozebra.com. On our website, you will be able to see all sorts of information like discounted tickets and rates 
and everything else you need while traveling around Tokyo and Japan. So the LCC is only located in a few stations. On the other hand, the limousine bus is offered all throughout Tokyo at many of the major hotels. So if you're staying at one of the major hotels, then you might want to take the limousine bus as it's a lot easier to get back or to get to the hotel from Narita Airport. If you check out their website, they'll have a list of all of the locations where they offer service. I'll leave a link below so that you can check out their website directly. At Narita Airport on the first floor, you'll see automated ticketing booths for the airport limousine bus as well as the Keisei bus. If you look around, you'll be able to find a man booth right next to it. So access Narita. There's no reservation required. All you need to do is pay when you get on the bus. For a more detailed breakdown on how to get to and from Narita Airport, feel free to check our website tokyozebra.com. It has information on discounted tickets as well as things to do and see while you're in Tokyo or Japan for that matter. And that's pretty much all you need to know. So if you like the video, then hit that like button. If you want more details on stuff we didn't cover in the video, then feel free to leave a comment below. We really want to hear from you guys, so feel free to just leave anything you want in the comment section below. If you want to subscribe, then subscribe.